<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy 3. My name is Weasel, and we are back with the US, and we're gonna skip to the next quarter and see how our policies affected it. Oh, no! Ethnic plot. Our latest security reports indicate a growing threat from an extremist organization known as Black Power Group. It looks like a number of people are angry about the way government policies affecting ethnic minorities and see eliminating the current government by force as the only way to change things. You might want to be careful about further angering ethnic minorities if you don't want to suffer an attack on your person. They're right. They are right. We need to deal with that. Oh no, stress epidemic. Doctors have warned that our businesses are working people too hard, which is leading to dangerously high levels of stress. Okay, so... Minorities and stress. We're gonna deal with both of these things. No problem. Um, hmm. Stress. Work weeks. Let's have a quick look. Capitalist gains tax. What's there are some taxes for that. I'm pretty sure. Inheritance tax. Oh! Right. Yeah, that's not worth it. Anyway, uh, uh, cancel. Uh alright, let's have a quick look. Economy, what can we do? Um they're overworking themselves. Also, I'm a little bit... I gotta say, I'm a little bit annoyed by... That they're, they're trying to, like, kill me. Like, that. that is what you do. Um, diversity quotas for can, uh, companies. Interesting. Diversity quota. Should we do that? I wish they would do it on their own, but that's probably not gonna happen. Hmm. Sure, let's do it. It's just... Look at that. It's The problem is it's so much political capital. So much... Political capital. Okay, so... What is that? Uh, free parenting classes. Compulsory language lessons. Oh man, look at that. 24 capital? Horse political, military, religious oath. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Uh, compulsory school sports. Stamp out racism week. Sure. Um, I guess why not? Social Justice Foundation. Ah, what does that one do? This policy established a foundation that deals with the worries and problems of the poor and underrepresented in our country. It will take away some of the worries these people have and give them a better feeling about being included into society. It won't get them a better life directly, but at least, oops, sorry, some hope of a better future. <sighs> and hope is a very important to have. Okay, I agree. Let's put some money in that. It's to... It'll help out temporarily, I know, but I have some really important things that I need to deal with first. I feel... Ah, uh, stress. That affects everyone. And I don't want to co want companies abusing people. <sighs> it's a problem. Okay. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Economy. Consumer rights. That's all cute. Maternity leave. It's 13. 13. Work safety laws. Hmm. That's a good question. Government subsidies for unions. That actually is a good idea. I feel... Work safety laws. I'm going to go for work safety laws. I don't know why voters don't like that, but I kind of would like increased health. It reduces productivity a little bit. I'm willing to take that risk. Um, reduces self-employment. Ah, right. Because of work safety laws. You got to be careful. We're going to put it in there. I'm sorry. Work safety is important. I'm not arguing with, here, with you here. Um... Race Discrimination Act. Prevents citizens being discriminated against purely on the basis of race. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Please. <laughs> Why is that not in? I thought it was in. Um, yeah, maximum. That's just 200 million a year. Uh, a quarter. That's not a whole lot. Reduces tension. Um, that's, that's fine. Oh, the conservatives don't like it? Well, they can suck it. They can suck it. Oh, you don't want people to be You want people to be discriminated? You, you think that's good? <sighs> anyway. Needle exchange program. How much is that? 12. Mm, witness protection program. Why is that not a thing? I would say that is already a thing, but yeah, let's 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 get it get it going. Reduce violent crime. Thank you very much. Cyber criminality. Criminals. We have a spy satellite network. We're pretty set on that regard. Space program! 75 billion a year! Jesus! That's what a strong leader. Oh, right. Electioneering. There we got some stuff. Perceptions. Voter perceptions. That's important. I forgot. Yeah, I totally forgot that there's a, the electioneering DLC and we can change some things. Like right now, we can't do the fundraising, for example. Speeches can't be done because we got to do that three turns leading up to the election. Same with manifestos. Um, but yeah, here you get some ideas about the parties. And yep, looks like the Wheatley Zone doesn't have a lot of uh, activists. We're getting a few here. They're, they're coming up. Very happy. 
The wheelie zone has more members though. That's not good. That's not good. Um, fundraising, not important right now. Um, but they have way more, Jesus, money than we do. That's not good. That's not good. But perceptions are also very important. Um, you know what? Compassionate. We're gonna do a media stunt. Compassionate media stunt. Costs us a little bit of political power, but I'll do that. Let's see what we have available. Visit Care Home. Prove to the electorate that you are caring and passionate at the site by letting them see you. Visit a care home for the elderly where you nod, smile, and generally listen to the elderly and infirm heir to their grievances to their face. <laughs> visit orphanage. Aw, help at a food bank. I think that's cheesy, but yeah, visit an orphanage. Why not? It's, uh, impact on perception, 21%, 75% success rate. Let's do that. Media spin success. Our carefully managed media skills have boosted the electorate's perception of you. This will help you win over the floating voters. Cool. It's not important yet. We are at like the middle of our term still. Anyways, gridlock. That should be over next turn. I have 14 capital. I'm keeping it because I might want to enact something big next. All right. So uh, the gridlock has eased. Yeah, that went down. We saw that already. We got that to an end. Uh, climate change protocol. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emission of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that is the only way to save the environment. I am certain we can work a way around this. Look at... The, oh, that's through the charts. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna accept the climate change. We're gonna ratify the protocol. We're not going to sit on our asses and let other people, other nations, deal with that alone. We're going to do that together. You know, if everyone signs it, so be it. We're going to work around that. The economy can handle this. All right. We're going to give them subsidies for that. How is the deficit doing? Oh, it's a lot of debt. It's a lot of debt. We're going to have to work on this. Okay. Since I have 35%, I'm going to increase taxes now. Very important. What is that? The capital gains tax. Yeah, we already have that pretty high. The corporation tax. I think it's time to ramp that up. It's time to ramp that up. Yeah, I know. It's going to hit the GDP, but we're going to ramp it up to 25%. 100, we need 100 million. 100 billion, I'm sorry. Uh, cancel that. Let's have a quick look. How much do we need? Deficit of 69. It's time to not have a deficit anymore. <laughs> we need to, we need, and, and it's the corporations. We need to, like, tax the corporations higher. There you go supply changes and uh, we already have the rich tax we applied that so yeah let's do that 25% I'm going overboard it's not car tax um keeping it to me I don't I'm not gonna change that I'm not gonna change that people need to drive to work first we're gonna take care of the public services um by that I mean the transports and once we have the transports uh and have people we have like a good public transportation network then we're gonna increase the taxes all right Bus lanes. Sounds good. Um, the national monorail system sounds fantastic, but nobody can friggin' afford that. <sighs> All right. It's uh, expensive. Okay. Toll roads should be a thing, I feel. But let's do bicycle subsidies. Sure. Let's do that. Reduces all of that, increases health. Five billion. Five billion? What are we doing? Fine. Fine. Five billion. Let, let them drive. If it helps, if it makes them healthy, let's do that. Reduces, reduces pollution as well. That's that's good. Um, all right, air travel. Oh yes, right, air travel. We don't have any taxes on that, don't we? Yeah, airline tax, none, doesn't exist. Why is there not an airline tax? Screw it. We're getting more taxes. Good taxes, that is. All right, public tax returns. Unfortunately, some wealthy people in our society try to avoid taxes with illegal tax evasion methods. By making tax returns public, people can now check if someone is using loopholes or abusing the tax system. This full disclosure will encourage support of the system as well as reducing tax evasion and forcing everyone to be able to justify their income. Screw it. Public tax returns. Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it. All detail. Actually, just some details. Let's not, let's not go crazy on some details, okay? Like silly achievement unlocked crime-free utopia like nowhere else the citizens of this country can now walk the streets safely and sleep sound in their beds knowing that crime is practically consigned to the history books excellent excellent high productivity oh a new situation has developed oh, nice 
weeks. We're super productive. Whistleblower, a Secret Service contractor, has leaked several documents that shed a light on the dark side of the war on terror. Should we prosecute her and do everything we can to bring her to justice? Or should we reform the Secret Service and stop making use of malpractices? She accuses us. Ah, uh, let's reform the Secret Service. Let's do that, sure. Look at that. Approval rating through the roof. Oh, yes. Yes. Very good. Um... All right, what's that? Skill shortage. Right, I would like to do something about that. Education. <sighs> Education. Important. Big issue. Education. Very big. Homelessness. Still. Okay. What do we have? We have 21. <sighs> Public services. How much longer? Ah, we still have, we have, still have some time. Uh, is there something we can throw in? Free parenting classes. Compulsory school. School sports, foreign language classes. It will reduce racial tension while improving foreign trade and relations. You know what? Compulsory foreign language classes in school sounds like a good idea. Um, is it for everyone or just kids? Hard to tell, honestly. Hmm. Compulsory food labeling still. Okay, what, what, what people really would like to see is free parenting classes. It's a bill. Well, how much is it? how much money? Surplus. 100 billion surplus. Jesus Christ. 100 billion surplus. Yeah, we're doing some cool things. We're doing some cool things. First of all, flags on every No, we're not going to that's a stupid 60 is stupid stuff. Okay. Ah, uh, where is it? Texas, Texas. Airline tax still can't afford it. It's 28. Oh, I don't have that much. Would have to wait. <sighs> anyway, Okay, let's do one thing. One public service. School sports or language classes. Language classes. Let's do that. Maximum. Let's let's do this. Reduces racial tension, foreign relations, and international trade will be improved. Good. I like that. I like that. We're gonna not do too much right now. Um, and just let it run out and see what happens. Terrorists captured. Nice! Some of the brave soldiers fighting abroad have located and captured some terrorists who are planning an attack against us. This is a great day for the security and freedom of our country. Actually, yeah, they're pretty happy. Pretty happy there. Gotta say. Um, the economic forecasts. What 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 is the economic forecast? Let me have a quick look again. Global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on the GDP. Where is it? GDP. Let's uh can I turn these off? No. GDP. There. It's going down a bit. Global economy going down. Ooh, it's been going down for a while, but our GDP has been doing okay. I didn't know that was going down so much. Okay. Nice surplus. Nice surplus. Very happy about that. We have 36. We can... Oh, we can really enact something here, guys. We can really make something happen. <sighs> okay. We can really make something happen. A mansion tax. Ooh, fancy that. Fancy that. School tax credit. I have an idea. What about rec what about drugs? How about we legalize cannabis? It's it's a crazy idea. But first of all, I mean drug addiction is not gonna, gonna be tackled by that, but um conservatives. Crime. Parents, okay, yeah, there's the uh, parents don't like it, conservatives don't like it, but crime is going to be reduced. Uh, the liberals are pretty happy about it, and tourism is going to increase. That's actually pretty good, but it's so expensive to legalize. Screw it, we're going to legalize cannabis. Yes, we're doing that, and then we're going to tax it. Recreational drugs tax, implement. Bam, maximum. If we're legalizing marijuana, we're going to tax you for it. There you go, bam. Let's see how that went. Internet crime, the situation is now at an end. Yes, no longer a concern. Credit rating upgraded. We are now again BB after being a B. That's good. Um, the polls are optimistic, 79%. Oh, we can now do campaign speeches, ladies and gentlemen. Campaign speeches and other stuff. Very good. Electioneering. I got to find out where, how I get there. Anyways. Um... So, what are we going to work on? That's a big question. Uh, manifesto, no, that doesn't work yet. Fundraising, it's not, not happening yet. Mm. <sighs> Speeches, okay. So, let's have a quick look. This will increase... What is that? I don't, I don't know what these people are. Okay. 
So liberals don't really like us. I'm surprised. Oh, the alcohol law, the armed police, the border control, citizenship. There's so much. Okay. What what do you like? You like the abortion law. Okay, that's that's good. Prisoner tagging. Wait, we're doing that? High tech on top of We're doing that? Oh. Oh. Okay. Liberals don't like that. Interesting. Um, I have not even like no, 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 no. Cancel revert changes. No, don't don't cancel a policy. That's silly. Okay, um, hmm, speeches, speeches, where would I do that? There is a party symbol somewhere, the party symbol, and I don't, I don't know what it is, there it is, electioneering, gotcha, speeches. So this will help with the poor, like, what, what, what? I can select some spites and like give them, improve some things. Okay, you're rich, doctor. Oh, there it is. State employees, happiness. Okay, let's see. Who's really unhappy? Who's really, really unhappy? You're okay. Retired people are really happy. Okay. The youth is not really happy. Let's let's do something and, and, and talk to the youth here about this. Like, you're not happy? We're talking about it. We're talking about it. Let's talk about this. The poor are fairly okay. The wealthy, not too happy. Mm, or if you're ethnic minorities, yes, we're definitely going to address their problems in a speech and middle income. Yeah, yeah, we're going to we're going to give that speech. Let's do it. Cost us 12. All right, let's see. This screen shows you the results of your speech, illustrating how popular it is with wide focus groups of all voters. You go from soundbite to soundbite. Higher values are obviously better, but few speeches will be able to please everyone. Good. OK. So. Eh, it did okay, I guess. Oh yeah, they, that was that was very important. Oh, look at listen to that. They're screaming. Oh, they're 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 psyched. They're stoked. That was exactly what this what I needed. All right, so the retired people are not happy. Youth is happy. Ethnic minorities are happy, and middle income is happy. Good. Um, let's do something for the ethnic minorities, shall we? Let's see. Uh, we have the Race Discrimination Act. That's good. Citizenship test, border control. Um, I'm not gonna touch border control. It's biometric checks. That's not, that's nothing crazy. I don't see how that, that's okay. I'm not touching that. Hmm. Okay, we have eight points. I'm gonna keep them to do something bigger, I feel, next turn. That was interesting. Message from Minister Bobby Gray. He needs to talk to me urgently in private. Bobby Gray, currently working as a foreign affairs minister, is tired of serving in your government and may wish to leave their position in poly politics altogether. You may be able to persuade them to stay by taking steps to further please their core supporters, religious people and capitalists. Oh, Bobby. No. Fracking? No. Ban fracking. Screw that. We have, like, no ideas what's going on unless you know exactly the negative downsides and the positive things of fracking. I don't want to hear it. All right. Extreme nationalism. Oh, what? How did that happen? How did how did that happen? How did how did that even happen? Campaign speeches available. Cool. I uh, know. Okay. Okay. Extreme nationalism. I because we have too many patriots. And poverty. Poverty. We got to reduce poverty. It's we're going to work on that now. That is not cool. Not cool. I hate nationalism. Not cool. Yeah, it affects negatively affects the tourism, immigration, uh, education. I was education like that should work to like against this. Yeah, I was about to say education. Screw it. We're we're applying changes. We're giving them student laptops. Let's bring education up. I don't care. We're bringing this up. Student laptops. Yes, we're, we're investing some money. It's all about teaching them. I don't care. Free parenting classes? Yes, implementing those. Absolutely. Five billion, we can't afford that. We have a surplus. Screw this. Um, I'm you, com compulsory school sports. No, 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 no. Youth Politics Council. And, and in democracy, it is of utmost importance to teach our kids how politics work and what can be achieved through it. That's actually a really good idea. We should teach them. That's very important. Let's, let's apply those changes. Nobody's fighting that. People are totally cool with that. Understandable so. Understandably so. Okay, so 
Uh, tourism ad campaign, I will gladly do that to bring those over. We have some surplus, so we're going to do a maximum on that. Improving foreign relations and our tourism. And until we see what happens in the next episode, thank you so much in the meantime. Uh, we're going to see the effects, as I said, in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.